Okay, welcome back to Spain to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, uh, well, today is uh, Wednesday, November the 3rd, 2021. Let's just get your report followed up. Before we get started, though, a big shout out to the people who watched the video yesterday, but I need your help today. I need you to, of course, subscribe to the channel. Next thing, very important, like the video. And third, click on the share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter, emails and text messages, okay? Let's just take a look at your numbers here and see exactly what's going on. Exactly what's going on. So what you can see here is uh, currently Spain has, had, has a little over 5 million deaths. 87,423, I'm sorry, we're a, little over, a little over 5 million cases. And 87,423 deaths. Yeah, Streamlabs doesn't, doesn't count, okay? So I don't think Streamlabs numbers are, I'm not sure, they, I think they're counting the numbers somewhere else. Average views. Okay. So anyway, Spain, you can see here that your uh, COVID-19 cases for 2020 have passed 2021. Okay. So we don't put too much emphasis on these yearly numbers because we don't know what the distribution is over time. Okay. That's, here's, the, here's the best news for today. The COVID-20 uh, for, for Spain, your 2021 COVID-19 deaths have probably will not catch 2020 deaths. Okay. We have come down here. You can see what's we can see what's going on down here. Overall, you had, you had a long declining pattern here, a spike up in October or yeah, you know, and, and and July, then another declining pattern, finishing at 5,820 uh, cases for a single day, and an average of 2,500 cases per day. What about deaths? Now you can see that this spike here didn't catch this death over there, which is good. And again, a big spike here on uh, February 8th, 909 deaths before the a long declining pattern down through spring and summer, very low numbers. Then in July, the numbers begin to climb back up on October, August the 23rd. The number will climb back up to 201 deaths for a single day. But by October, by November the 2nd, the number falling back down to 55 deaths for a single day. With an average death of 40.8 deaths per day, okay? If we take a look at some, uh, what do we got here? Weekly and uh, weekly cases. Again, big declining pattern down into here. Okay, big declining patterns. Uh, but then in July, the big increase up, what, three or four weeks, it's just, just a big jump before me to begin to fall back down, okay? Now, what about uh, deaths by week? Again, below these numbers over here, long declining pattern down, down to the summer months, very low uh, deaths down through here. Then in July, we saw the increase again, followed by another declining pattern. Now, what about the COVID-19 deaths or cases by month? Well, you can see you had for one, two, three, four, five months in a row, you were below this number here, this spike here. So I'm going to count that as a victory. But then you had the spike up in August, September. But again, so one, two, three months. So far, you're riding a three month decline, a three month in a row decline in COVID 19 deaths, Spain. Okay? Or cases. What about deaths? You know, very low deaths through spring and summer. A slight increase over here, but now we have two months in a row of another declining pattern, okay, for deaths, all right? So anyway, Spain, that does conclude your report for today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new and updated report.